what's up? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you were here already. I apologize. It won't happen again. Oh. I, I, what's going on? I detect a malfunction in my program. This is worrying. Uh-oh. Y'all, so I'll tell you, when I got ready to end the last episode, she asked if we were friends, and I hit escape to get out of it, and she looked really bugged out at that point. And I did not want to do that. I wanted to hit yes, but I was hoping that I could have the opportunity to do it again. Because, yeah, I want to be her friend. But I don't think we're going to get that opportunity again. I'm sad. And she looks bothered. All right. I hope we get an opportunity to make that up. I'm so sorry if I don't. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Hmm. All right. Back with Connor. Hey, Connor, what's up, dude? All right. So we're back at the park, so I'm guessing we're going to go see Amanda. And I wonder where she is this time. She, We're going to go this way, and she's not going to be this way this time. <laughs> oh, who knows where she's going to be at. It seems like every time we come here, she's in a different place. Is she up here on the bridge this time? Let's go look. Can I get up there? Come on, Connor. You can do it. There you go. I knew you could. Nope, I don't see her up here. Let's go this way. Is she this way? Can I get down there? I can get down there. Okay. Amanda! Where are you? Where are you, Amanda? Hmm. I don't see her. Where is she? Oh, hey. <laughs> She's in a flipping boat. Is that her? Alright. So we gotta go back and get in that boat somehow? Is she going to make me paddle her around the little pond? That's eh, about par for the course. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. All right, let's cruise then. <laughs> or maybe you thought... You would enjoy a little cruise since I'm going to have to do the work. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh. Yep. Drag her around. I love this place. Obviously. Everything is so calm and peaceful. We come here all the time. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Mm, let's talk about Eden Club. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. Okay, Amanda likes that. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Um, determined. Let's be determined. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. Okay, Amanda likes that too. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Okay, two. I know I will succeed. 
All I need is time. Time. Hmm. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. I think that means we don't have much time, Connor. All right. Oh, look at you and your little corner tricks. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. My quarter now. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoned their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. Okay. They got taken down before they could react. So we're just following One Hank of the right station now. station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. In shock. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? The yeah, roof? They jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. One of the Deviants. SWAT took it out. It's a pity they couldn't manage to capture it alive. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen. Of Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Oh my goodness. Just like a fed. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Okay. All right, well, let's have a look around. So I always you know wonder if... Okay, Lieutenant. The FBI are really like that in real life. We ask and if local... Um, our enforcement's and always right. think the same thing about them because together, they always want to come in and take over. So I don't know if that's the case in the way it works or if they actually work together in harmony. But all TV always this message is the hope of a people. Always seems to make the you FBI look like they're just and now the time has jerks come for you to because they want to take control over everything. That's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Okay, let's see here. Deviant had accomplices. Okay, you can see them in the reflections. Look at that. How observant. Blue Irish spare parts. Blue Irish spare part. Interesting. Now what? RK series prototype RK200 registered as Marcus, gift from Elijah Kaminsky to Carl Manford, okay. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Huh. Connor's holding back. That's really interesting. Why, Connor? Why are you holding back? Where's the body of, uh... Up, 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 back... Oh, there we are, right there. Uh, 
Okay. Wounded Deviant was shot. Yep. We got that. We knew that. There's the blue blood. Do we need to do anything with the blue blood on the wall? No. Oh, look at that. Look at all the bullet holes in there. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else in here we need to look at? Roof access. Hmm. Can we go that way? I'm thinking we can. I think it's interesting that Connor didn't tell dude anything about the uh, spare part eye. Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. I'd say so, too. Inspect the broadcast, inspect the rooftop. Okay, so we're at the rooftop. Dude, you need to get in my way. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Huh. Accomplices, that's right. Okay. What we got here? Partially covered by snow. Yep. Only three deviants jumped. Okay. I think we knew that. Should be nothing else up here. What are you looking at, dude? Are you throwing quarters off off the roof? Did he get a little scared of heights or something? That was kind of freaky the way he moved away from it. So now we need to look at the uh, broadcast room. Or did we? We did do that, didn't we? All right, so this is the rooftop. Now what? FBI agents over there. All right, Hank, what do we do? What do we do, Hank? Are we done here? I think we're done here. A lot didn't happen up here. Oh, uh, what is that? I didn't see that. Ah, uh, guns, okay. Weapons 457 Stratford Tower Security. Alright. So we had handguns. Are you talkable? Nope. Anything over here? So, all right. Well, I guess we can go back in, huh? Cause I think it's cold up here, right? Analyze. Wireless security light recently hacked. <laughs> yeah. So they hacked the door to block it. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, we knew that, right? So we need to go back to the broadcast room. In here. What is this? A baseball cap! Stolen maintenance uniform assailants were disguised. Well, what do we know now? Uh huh. We know that they're clever little thieves. Uh huh. Dude, you, need, you really need to get out of my way with your uh, CSI <laughs> uniform on. <laughs> so the speech was shot from here. Yep, we know that. There's nothing else we can see here. Anything else? 
We already looked at him. He's just dead. Uh oh. Analyze what? There's something to analyze over here. Bullet holes, weapon, assault rifle. Okay. So yeah, we know they shot Simon. And I'm not happy about that. We left Simon behind. Really not happy about that at all. Never leave anybody behind. Check CCTV. Okay. So these guys would never make good military service members if they're going to leave their people behind. That's just wrong. Alright. Okay, what we got here? Defense didn't break in. All right. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. That's right. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Huh. Sounds like a human thing to me. the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Okay. Let's integrate the androids. Is this the kitchen? Where's the kitchen at? Is this the kitchen? Hello there. How are y'all? all the same triplets y'all triplets okay what is your function I am a broadcast operator state your model model GB 300 Serial number 336-445-581. He said GB, GB 300. That's JB 300. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. You don't remember? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational been in contact with any other androids recently only station androids in the normal course of my function all right then. one of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing who was it which means there's a deviant in this room ah. and I'm going to find out which it is tell him Connor Threaten them. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece okay. for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Okay. It didn't bother him any. Let's see. I still think it's this one right here. Let's talk to that one right there. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? We're doing Turn guilt. yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's deal. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Maybe. Violence, bluff, torture, probe memory. Uh, let's probe memory on this one here. Got to start somewhere, so we're going to start here.
Oh, 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 oh my goodness gracious. Hmm. No memory. No memory. Alright. Over here. Uh violence. You scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Tell him, Connor. Alright. I think Um We're gonna go here we're gonna go here and bluff. One. Bluff. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. Uh oh, the other one turned. I knew everything. We saw the other one turn. Yep, that one right there. He turned and looked. Pile component 8451. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. 63 seconds. I could put it back. I could. But you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the Deviant? He is. Aha, uh -huh, look at there. Oh, oh. Oh, dude, dude, ah, Hank, Hank, I need help. Ah, Hank, are you coming? Hank, are you coming? I don't think Hank's coming. I don't think Hank's coming. What, what can I do? What can I do? Timer before shut down. One minute and five seconds. Oh my gosh. Anything. Can I do anything? The dude pulled my little heart out. Okay, we made a noise. Come on, Hank. Hank, come on. Help me, Hank. Ah, is there nothing else I can do? Is there anything else around here? Um. Oh. Ah. Uh. Now what? Come on. We gotta find our little heart thingy. Is that right? Yep, 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 yep. Come on, we can get our little heart thingy. Let's get our little heart thingy. Come on, you can do it. You got 25 seconds. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is actually pretty darn cool. 15 seconds. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. Okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Where did he go? Where did he go? Stop. It's a deviant. Stop it. Oh, it shot itself. It shot itself. Connor, are you okay? I tried to stop it, but I was too late. Ah. Uh. What in the world? Well, I'm glad Connor's still alive. I didn't want Hank to lose another Connor. That was pretty interesting, y'all. <laughs> Connor got a little vicious there. And the android was like, uh-uh, you take my heart out, I'm going to take yours out too. Take that, dude. <laughs> All right, so we have finished. Connor and Hank survived. Yeah, Connor and Hank survived. What a good way to end a episode of Steven Survives Detroit Become Human with Connor and Hank surviving. Yeah, see what I did there? See what I did there? All right, y'all. 
This is going to be the end of this episode. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and watching this chapter. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, down in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little circle of my face. Click on it, subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Y'all come back and see the next one. Take care. Bye.